Hello, wonderful viewers out there in Twitch land. Welcome to the Galactic Colonnette. Kind of. Kind welcome of. to <laughs> welcome to a back room of a shop that is somewhere on a planet in the solar system. My name is, of course, George, and I'm joined today by a special guest, Mr. Elliot. Hello. Hello, and we're streaming, as you may have guessed, from this lovely loading screen and the title of the stream. We're streaming some X-Wing. First time ever, I believe. <laughs> my, my iPad, which has the stream currently open, making noise there. Um, so they're just saying out asteroids. Leighton does not have the initiative. Joe does. So I, I don't wonder if that's going to be a uh, disadvantage to Leighton because uh, he's got some bandit squadrons in there, which means everything else, three ship, three out of four of Joe's ships are going to fire before hit before they do. However, you've got a ton of barks and the dagger squadron. You've got to wonder if that's going to the PS advantage of that is going to with him firing first. Will that impact uh, the game? Yeah, now, we can see their list. We have a... Where are we? we have, so, the... We, yeah. Where is it? There. On so, the, right, on the, right on the end, the bottom of your screen of that deployment is a Gold Squadron Y-Wing with R2-D2 and an Ion Cannon. And then just above that is a Blue Squadron B-Wing with a heavy laser cannon. <laughs> and then a... Rookie... Yeah, that's a rookie pilot X-Wing with a flechette torpedo. And just beyond that, at the top of your screen, which you may not be able to see, is a prototype pilot in an A-Wing with cluster missiles. And, and on the left, at uh, the bottom of your screen, a ton of barks in an E-Wing with push the limit, advanced sensors and engine upgrade. Just below that is a dagger squadron B-Wing with advanced sensors and a heavy laser cannon. And, two, and then there are just two... Two and plain bandit squadron pilots. Completely yeah. blank, nothing special there. No upgrade. No, it's a very expensive E-Wing to be fair. Yeah, 42, 42 points. points you've, got, you've got to be thinking that Joe's going to be gunning for that. Because mm. eliminate that, that's almost half the squad points gone. Right yeah. there and there. But that thing does do damage. It does do damage, and with Definitely advanced does. and push the limit, it opens up immensely because you can form two actions, not just one, but two, before you move. Yeah. With, with, with a boost, which is part of the engine upgrade, it means that E-Wing can do a bank to the left by one and then boost forward five, which that mm. can really get uh, get the advantage of. Right. Now, standard opening here, just moving forwards, setting up a mm. position in order to... Yeah, we've had the dials flipping and it seems to be that Layton's uh, moving first. Uh, Joe. Layton, Sorry, Layton is on the oh, left. Oh, yeah, Joe. My <laughs> Rookie Layton, mistake. Layton does not have the initiative. Layton does not have the initiative, no. no. Um, it's just saying up here, so there's no easy flank, and then there's a. I mean, it, it, it wouldn't really matter because uh, Joe is moving everything before anyway. Yeah, so um, it just means you set up, make sure you have the, the correct position to be able to respond to anything Layton does, really, so you don't have any, uh, any surprises <laughs> happen halfway through. No. The astro formation seems to be very loose this time, not very clustered together. I can see some uh, possible bow rolls through there with the B wing. Yeah, I mean, no. they, both teams have got a B wing, both have heavy laser cannon, but you know, laser's got the advantage of the dagger, so he's got higher pilot skill and he's got advanced sensors. So, so yeah. he can he can K turn and afford K turn to take a focus action or a target lock. So he has the advantage skill wise. Now Layton moving forward very aggressively here. Everything going yeah. forward quite far and. Uh, that's uh, Ethan getting Ethan the game very far forwards. Soon, mm. just getting there, get some shots in. It's no surprise that Ethan is going forward, making sure everything is firing up because his ability is deadly. Any ship that attacks anything within Ethan's uh, firing arc can change a hit to a crit, and all you need is a critical hit to do direct hit, two shots, something dead. Yeah. Now. <laughs> Interruption there, Jamie. God. You want to be on stream, do you? Yeah. Nah, I don't mind. <laughs> but yeah, so just the, the, the opening moves here, sort of just laying out. Dials, it seems. Getting everything down, so no action as of yet to be expected, really, within the first turn. Joe seems to be playing it slow, moving everything forward as slow as possible. Yeah, I'm probably mean, seeing where Leighton is uh, att attempting to yeah. maneuver his no, shots. You've really got to think you've got to play careful against such a loaded oh, yes. B wing. Yeah. You, you don't, uh, E wing, so you don't want to get straight in there, you want to give him as little chance to get forwards as possible. Yeah. No, indeed not. Um, however, that iron cannon that the uh, the Y-Wing is holding may be the, the key to keeping that E-Wing under control. Yeah. Uh, if that E-Wing is in front of an asteroid, God forbid, and that iron cannon fires, that is going through that asteroid, no matter what happens. Yeah. 
There we go. The yeah. Fork forward by the X-Men. Yeah, just same as before, just slowly moving up. Slowly getting this all sorted. Focus action. Oh. Here comes the B-Wing. Yeah. Two forward. Now. Just a, a staggered, well, staggered movement deployment. Mm. Enabling a greater response to any threat that may be posed by Leighton. Uh, it looks like that Joe really is using uh, the speedier ships to his advantage. He's keeping uh, the B-Wing and the Y-Wing, who are very slow in formation, because uh, of course the four forward on both their ships, I believe, are red. So if they were to match the X-Wing speed, they would stress themselves. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, that, that's just that, that deployment that allows them to react to Leighton's uh, moves as, as best as possible in regards to any first initial attacks, anything else by giving him a greater sort of uh, ability Ooh. to turn and face. Ooh, interesting. Why are we going 4 by one mm. Staggering the formation a lot there. Uh, potentially setting up for a bank, I would say. Yeah. But did that... Uh, Intro Vernon, this is live. This is so live, yeah. We are live from England. So... Merry old England. <laughs> Merry old England. Back of a cupboard. Part of a cupboard. Um, and Leighton just continuing to mirror Joe's moves here. He's just moving up. Yeah. Flat out with those X-wings and we'll just keeping them, keeping them together. So, oh, judging from this, a three turn we'll be able to get in from in a position to get through the asteroids. Oh, and the B-wings already yeah, making the a move. Yeah, the B-wing making a move in there. Looks like it's going to be Ooh. very close. Laying off some cards around. Oh, very close with the B-wing. Yeah. Now, the big one here is going to be what Ethan does. If he moves up very far, he may actually be able to get caught out in a, an off position in terms of uh, just getting slightly isolated and that way we'll be able to pick him off slightly. Mm. But the uh, the B-Wing there moving up in support, so those two, uh, the two X-Wings on their own, they're going to the Z-95s. The, the Z-95s on their own will provide a, a good pick out. Yeah, I think uh, Leighton is trying to avoid them getting any attention because they're very weak. Um, yeah. However, they, they're still dice are throwing at your opponent, so keep them yeah. out of the way, bring them in as a hit and run. And they're going to be they're going to be the ideal moving reinforcements here. Now, Ethan moving up again, he's moved a couple this time. Um, he he's like used advanced sets to boot, uh, to boost uh, to a bank, one bank, and then went four by one. Interesting mark. Yeah, just Thank making you. sure that he's not in range there. Yeah. He's getting the perfect position where he's not in range, but he's getting everyone to be set up to be in his arc. Yeah, which now is what, it, what it looks like here is that Ethan, um, the Leighton has a bit of a, a pit comp where he's able to really just get in there, take out one thing straight away, and then hope that the some survivability remains. Whereas Joe has a really good defensive sort of strategy, and, and yeah, especially the, the layout he's gone, where he's moved forward in static formation, allows him to respond to any one threat that comes at him. Now, I can pretty much guarantee that all of those ships are going to turn and face that E-wing. Yeah, yeah. That's the big. That's the big heavy hitter, and it looks like Lane may be setting up to decoy them into firing at that. Uh, yeah, now that that is an expensive. That decoy is one expensive. Throw However, it's also three defense dice, so it's going to be tough to take down. Yeah. Um, no. Even with a heavy laser cannon, which is rolling four. Yeah. Now, Layton just setting out his bandit squadron movements first, just making sure that even though he can't that's properly true. react to it. Just making sure everything's sorted first. Now, you've got to think if he can take that Y wing out, the best way that Joe has to answer the E wing is is pretty much gone. Well, if I yeah, I agree. If I was um, uh, Joe in this situation, um, I would go for the E wing. Leighton, with that um, E wing right there, I would go for the B wing or the Y wing because they've got only one dice they're rolling to defense, yeah. so it will take hits with those the now, three attack dice. This move here by Joe, very aggressive, just moving in, getting everything in range, so that if he if Lane does manage to take one of his ships out or, or damage it in any way, he's gonna. And here we see the problem with having a low skill at A wing. It can't move into range and target lock. It has to wait for things to come to it. Yeah. Um, so he's not going to fire those cluster misses, which that could be the big problem. Yeah. Now the the thing about that though, not being able to just move in and get a shot, it means that it does look like Joe's setting up for a defensive style formation, reactive. He's he's not. Oh, can we have a bump here? Yes, and I think that is. Yeah, we have a collision. So oh. now there's no action for that B wing. Yeah, no, that's quite unfortunate. But the way he set out here is very defensive. Yeah. Everything's everything's sort of able to protect another ship. So that A wing does have the X and now B wing, uh, sort of within its ability to defend, and the Y wing able to defend from that corner as well. It's no surprise that uh, the B wing is flanking that um, E wing because um, the brilliant thing about using the combination with 
uh, B-Wing is heavy laser cannon can't crit. You have to turn hits to crit. Uh, crits to hits, my apologies. Um, but a turn's ability then turns one of those hits to crit, so you can crit on a heavy laser cannon, which with four dice, that's four potential hits you're doing. Which could be deadly. For, anyway, that's one shot. That's one kill. Yeah, no, that's a three a three turn there for Leighton, so he's, he's definitely moving those Z95s up now. Getting very close they to are, those asteroids. Yeah, they are, they are going to be able to get into an offensive formation on the on the right hand side of Joe uh, he's going to be able to move up and, and really threaten that Y wing if he needs to or just sweep in and get behind him now actually that's one Z95 effectively shielding another one yeah. straight behind it if one gets taken out the other one's probably going to be in range as well so. definitely even if it's range 3 it's still something yeah now the question is what are these next two ships do what are so, the B wing and the E wing going to do now the thing here would be for the, the B wing to move up closer to the E wing. I agree. But if the E wing moves up to take fire, or to, to possibly take a, a couple of pot shots, then it's going to cause some pain back for that. And whilst it does have some defensive stats, four ships firing at you. Not good. It's not, not, good. It's not going to end well. No. Even with three dice, it only takes one of those rolls to be blank, and that's it. You know, the E wing is squishy. It's got three shields, but only two hull. Uh, it's, all it would take is one direct hit. Go yeah. on. Right. So we've only got the E wing left to move, so he, he's definitely going to be moving. But what is he going to do? Well, if I was in this position, I would probably aim to. Uh, I would honestly see if I can try and get as close to that e, um, X wing as possible. Yeah. Um, so I can get a shot on the uh, the B wing or the Y wing. Yes, I'll be taking a shot, but with an evade action, I can at least dodge one of those shots and three attack dice. Oh. No, he's just going to move up slightly, so the, uh, Joe has to come to him. There we go. Although that's he a, will be in range at this that's point. That's an advance. That's a boost right there. And a reveal of is that just an agreement? Over? It's a two forward. Not pushing the limit. I probably would have pushed the limit at this point. If you have, if you if you're running agreement over, you might as well push the limit to get that extra vague dice and then get rid of stress instantly. Yeah. Now, from looking at it, it does look like the A wing and possibly the B wing. Maybe I should just take fire on the A on the E wing. Mm, I think which, the A wing may just have an arc on that. A -wing. Yeah, I think it does. Looking at the uh, looking at the grid on the base, uh, the Y wing also does, but may just Definitely. be either slightly out of range or probably can just get. Well, the Iron Cannon is range one to two, so it could be out of range. Yeah, the th it's definitely within three. So definitely within three. The the two is probably just a brush outside of base. Mm. So it's just they're just checking the firing arcs on the A wing <laughs> just to make sure that the just if the E wing is in oh, there. Oh, he's using. Uh, well, but if he can do that using advanced sensors after using, I thought that would be an illegal action there. I'm sure if if he's able to do it, he he knows what he's doing. That's true. <laughs> so now we're just going to check ranges on this and see what we've got. No, nothing's in range of the B wing. <laughs> like you're gunning for the B wing here, and oh, oh the A wing, just oh, a shimmy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> The shimmy there, just just keeping it out of range of absolutely everything at this point. That is good. Is, <laughs> is the E wing is stressed here? It is stressed, yeah. so it can't perform a red maneuver or actions. So it's going to have to perform the green maneuver in order to get rid of that stress. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, without an R two unit, um, the famous R two unit, which can remove green, on, uh, which turns all one um, one speed and two speed moves to green. There's no way he's going to be clear that stress unless he does a two yeah. forward or a two now, back. Now, you mentioned the famous R2 unit. That's actually on the Y wing. Well, no. no well, um, the, the famous the R2. The famous. The, fa the famous. <laughs> the R2. The famous within the range of the X Wing miniatures game. <laughs> Everyone uses that ship to clear stress. It yeah. is effective. Yeah, now, you've got to see here, like, Leighton is extended quite far. Now, Leighton, by the way, sorry guys, I forgot to explain this. Leighton has blue dots on every single one of his ship bases, <laughs> and Joe has red. My way of distinguishing between, well, it's going to be used for all of them, not just Rebels and Rebels and Imperial and Imperial, just because it's easier for me to tell apart. Mm. It's so much nicer, but... <laughs> so you can see Joe's kept his ships fairly close together, a very defensive formation, so he's able to react to any threat. Lane has spread out across yeah. the board, basically now enabling him within the next turn or two to be able to threaten from many angles. Indeed, because if the X-Wing attempts to, to K-turn to get an, uh, yeah. any fight on that uh, E-Wing, then we're, it's going to have its back facing those B. Back yeah, it's not where you want to be. No, you do. You do not have your back turned to a B wing with heavy loads going and two Z ninety fives. No, I mean so. they they don't have two attack dice, but they can add up. And statistics statistics say that with a target lock or with a focus, you're going to get at least two. Yeah, you should you should get in there, especially if you're able to just throw a bunch of dice at someone. You're going to probably take the ship. If not, you're going to cause some damage to. So it's just blue um, dot and added to a movement there. <laughs> that's looks very that's strange. Actually, yeah, it looks very strange. I think he had one too many peeled off the, the labels. Oh, well. Yeah. 
Ooh, and the enemy's moving first, and it's going to go yeah. three forward. It's just moving straight in. It's going to try and. I think. I think what Joe's thinking here is just get to that B wing. Yeah. Just take out the the heavy cannon. Yeah. I'm, there we go. I would be surprised if we see that B wing advance to power roll out the way the asteroid and just go forward. Um, yeah. Get into a good spot, and the the X wing is going to move in just oh, oh, just oh, out of bomb. Oh, oh. Just oh, out. That just out. Is the old snooker <laughs> rule of they're not quite touching. Uh, right. Oh, target lock. Yeah, he's just going to th throw everything at that that B wing now. The the E wing as we saw last time they were measuring, so he might try and bring the B wing in range of the E wing. What was it? No, so? he's not. No, he's Ooh. moving everything in on the B. So yeah, I think the two options here were to just throw everything at the E wing or throw everything at the B wing. B wing because without anything nearby, those Z nine fives are just going to go straight down. Yeah, well, they're basically -wing, just going to yeah, fail. Exactly, with, with two hull, two shield. They aren't surviving much. And the B wing is the better horse to. Uh, to bet on because one agility die it will take damage okay yeah. you have um, five shields three hull to chew through but it will take damage yeah and it does look like then that <laughs> Y-wing if it shoots as well is that it's... getting a target lock out yeah yeah it is <laughs> <laughs> everything is going yeah, the yeah there we go target lock <laughs> yeah boom boom oh, just there's oh, four, no, of just four of them <laughs> Yeah, we're going to pile them up like poker chips. <laughs> um, now, what's going to happen here? <laughs> it, I mean, could we see the the A, the E wing, sorry, the, e -wing, the A wing and the X wing use their secondary weapons, the flash torpedoes and the cluster missiles, to actually do an effect onto that? Yeah. Now, the the Z nine five is just moving up. They're they're going to threaten for possibly a, ne a next turn hard kill, mm -hmm. if possible. If, if if something lives, it's got a better shot at that. Um, B wing is further range. However, it's the shooting of the Y wing is through an asteroid that will add an extra agility dice. Which mm. okay, two agility dice is still two agility. It which... may just be he's, now. You can see the other Xenoth are moving very slowly, mm. sort of just just banking up, moving around. Now that may be in order to just is it's a sacrificial Z ninety five, indeed, to move away. Now and that, here we go. Barrel roll. The the B wing just quickly <laughs> jump out of the way, hopefully, and it'll be interesting to see exactly what happens with the E wing here because. That thing could try and just do a tight bang and move straight behind everything else. It's not going to cater because it's stressed, so it's true. There's certain ways it can go. Uh, one forward. I think it may The just Y wing is definitely out. The B wing is more of a fine issue. I think it might just be. Maybe. Just, just missed either the back or just graze it now. The e yeah, the E wing moving turn. in for a. Uh, hopeful next turn, but it's not or, green. It doesn't remove the stress. No. So it's, all that I things. think that's that's moving in for a, a possible shot on the A wing or something similar next turn because, like the the A wing, not exactly the uh, the toughest of ships. Uh, mm, you do not want to go straight for the Y wing. You don't want to go straight for the Y wing, <laughs> or or even the B wing. You want to go for the X or the A wing. The A wing being the the squishier of the two, by virtue of having one less hull but a higher agility. True. I actually disagree on the B wing and the Y wing front because of although they are tough. They have that one agility, so there's more chances of getting yeah. hits. Whereas the rookie pilot, okay, they're more squishy, saying with the A wing, but the A wing's got three agility dice, which yeah. that's a lot of chances for evades there. A lot of chances yeah. for blanks as well, but that's how the dice yeah. work sometimes. And looks but like... you want to you want to try and go for the guaranteed either kill or heavy damage on something, so it dies next time. And looks like the oh heavy laser cannon to the A wing, and that's looks like one hit. Yeah, and one of eight. Pew pew. <laughs> well, I'm gonna make a laser sound for this oh, every time someone rolls dice. Pew pew. Get on the soundboard. I just I I hate the music on this thing. It doesn't pick up sound. <laughs> I'd have to have it here. Oh, <laughs> speaker on the mic, and that's a bad setup. Right. Oh, so. yeah, look, it seems to be the X wing is firing its flechette torpedoes. Which even if it doesn't hit, it will stress that B wing, and a B wing stressed not a good sign. <laughs> So and here we go. Oh, one hit, just barely, and one of one of eight. <laughs> oh, he gets out of there. <laughs> oh, 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 of all the chances, just just get out of there. <laughs> However, I think it would have been better just to. Then again, it's stressed. Would it would primary attack yeah. been better? I don't know. Like just just getting the guaranteed stress on there, meaning it can't pull off anything else, seems like a better a better option. Oh, it gives you a better chance wow. in the future. Wow. Three hits and a focus. But oh, two. two. I think wow. one. I think it's two focus. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a focus. So there's two evades on the bandit. Mm. No, I think I think the Still reason there is you hit. you want the B wing to have to perform a green maneuver in order to be able to perform more complex ones. So you don't want. You don't want the B wing guaranteed being able to get away. That's you true. want you want to be able to chase it a bit further, put that heavy laser cannon either with its back to you or unable to to really do anything. And at this point, Lane may not want to do that, may not want to just play a bit more dangerous. His his composition does look like he wants to. 
and mm. the E-Wing is actually possibly, I think, just able to shield one of the ships, but maybe not. I, I agree. Same. I think maybe the X-Wing is the... Yeah, the either the, he may actually be able to hit the... Well, he's definitely going to be able to hit the B-Wing. One hit. I think this is uh, using an ion cannon. Yes. Yet through the asteroid. Um, I'm not sure if that was the raid. I oh, think yeah, he... Yeah, I think it did hit. Hmm. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. didn't. And he's just checking the range for his uh, e uh, Z95 there. Uh, which attacking that A-wing? That's four chilty dice <laughs> versus two attack dice. What's the range odds. on a Z95 again? Uh, Z95. The, all ships fire within the one to three arc, but the thing is, they've only got two attack dice. Okay. Which the A-wing at range three would be running four defense dice. That's a two to one ratio. Mm -hmm. Not good odds. A two hit. Oh, That's oh one. he went for the B-wing. Yeah. Good choice. I think there was two hits and an evade. Mm. So which is where's one hit? It's one hit. <laughs> I'll yeah. take that. <laughs> He was saying take a hit any day. It's better than better than James <laughs> better than really managed so far. <laughs> He's caused a stress. In indeed. So, uh, two hits. Again, two hits. And this is a and three. And that's one evade for the... Well, that must have been the... You rolled three dice. So, yeah. I'm just going to spend the focus. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, no real damage. Well, some damage caused some, some damage. damage. Not, not too much. Not too much. An initial skirmish. Everything is still on the board, at least. Yeah, that that's at least the big one. The last thing you want as a pilot, in, I'm, I've been in my experience where you have that shot on someone and they take you up before you can shoot. I've been there and it's terrible. I've been in great matches. I've been in horrible matches. I've even been in a match where you came to a draw. <laughs> a true draw. And it's like cluster missiles are being spent from the A-wing to fire two hits... Two hits now. This is on the B wing. No, oh, no. And the evade. cluster missiles gets two shots. So this is shot number two. That's that's wow. Uh, three hit. <laughs> that's five and, hits oh, in total. One evade. That's an evade. Still, that's so, shields are down on the B wing. Yeah. So shields down. That's uh, not not the greatest place to be, but you're not too particularly it's not terrible. unhappy. With it, no. You've still got something left. Yeah. Least. Especially, it's, it's, it's reassuring to see those shields gone because you know that there's only three hits left. Yeah, yeah, and, and especially because it's a bit stressed. It may not be able to get quite out of range just yeah. yet. Yeah, that thing, I predict next round going down. It's either going down or it's being focused so hard it can't really get in. <laughs> Which, like, in, in, I think Leighton will be lucky if it can get another shot off. It leaves me wondering if Leighton will attempt to sacrifice the beaming and attempt to block the, probably the prototype or the X-Wing. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, if, you're, if your shield's already down, then... Well, you see, just this thing is just moving. Like, yeah, it's going thing. to be. It's probably going in in order to block one of Most the others. Most likely, but then again, yeah. it may get in range uh, of the iron cannon from the wiring, which again, yeah, that would that be would, that would be more control moving forward. Mm. One, but the asteroids here coming into play. Like the the Z nine five is in the middle and it's quite safe. The yeah. wiring, however, is directly the wiring directly in front of it. That's gonna that's going to hit that asteroid. I don't care what you say. That yeah, is that thing is it, it's going to hit an asteroid. So. And of course, you go through an asteroid, even if you don't land on it, you still roll that hit. You still take one damage. You still lose your actions. Yeah. If you land on it, you lose your attack. Even worse. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> I mean, the Ewing here also. That, this can't be forgotten. The Ewing is moving around. Yeah, it is that, there. That is it, a forty-two it, point Ethan Ewing. It is a wolf in the bushes waiting to jump on its target. It's not quite in the bushes. You can see it. It's quite <laughs> plain. It's, so right here, guys. It's in the metal. It's in the nebula, right? <laughs> it's, it's it's not a phantom. It's definitely there. It's, I know where it is. Are I, you sure? I, Hopefully he hasn't forgotten about it, just this random E-Wing. Like, oh, I'm sure it's... Oh, God, no, it's still here. I think it's 42 uh, points. It be quite, must be quite reluctant to let go of that. In, in yes, case. it's very true. <laughs> Any day I have a ship that expensive, I want to make sure I'm firing at someone. If I'm not firing at someone, I want to make sure they're not firing at me. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I mean, I think it's more of a... You, you've got a lot invested into it, but if it goes down, your opponent's going to have to fire a lot at it. Like, it's going to be a, a lot of uh, moves here. Now, oh, I think the trouble for... Um, uh, for Leighton, it's going to be Joe's Y Wing because it's got R2, which means it can re re regen a shield if it does a green move. Which, if it's doing a green move this turn, I'll be shocked. But Yeah, it's it's unlikely. Unlikely. But it's still got those three shields which it can regenerate. Yeah. Right? And, I mean, oh, Go, oh, that's, oh, that's boosting a... right out of the B Wing's firing arc. Yeah. As I say, don't, if you don't get a shot, better to not have a shot and I'll get a shot on you. Yeah, now this is just going to be Joe moving out of the. The E Wing's possible attack. Here. Yeah. Because we'd identified like oh. the the X Wing oh. and the Oh wow. Oh that's <laughs> a Ooh. right smack bang in the middle and there's no boost yeah. to get out of that. That is a that is a sacrificial that, lamb. Yeah, focus, definitely focus that thing down. <laughs> that is a that is a lamb to the slaughter, hoping that the B Wing gets nothing else done. 
Indeed. Now but that then, the no, B wing, the yeah. two B wings are going to be in range of each other. Yeah. And they are definitely in each other's arc. Yeah. One attack dice, mm. better target. I mean, mm. that X wing right there is like you must attack me, attack me. Yeah. But then I mean, you've got I think this B wing coming into the side of you. Uh, I'm, yeah, I wouldn't be one of being late to choose right now. No, I mean he's got he's definitely got a pick from. And that one wing is going smack bang through the asteroid. <laughs> yeah, that, that Y wing is, and he's also directly in front of AZ ninety five. And another asteroid and, as well. Yeah, like, wow, <laughs> that's gonna hit two asteroids. Uh, two asteroids in two well, uh, That one I think he could possibly turn away from, but. Well, then yeah. there's another asteroid and right behind it. You, that's oh. what you don't want. <laughs> that is that is not a good move. <laughs> That's not, that's not an optimal strategy, getting hit by an asteroid. At least he only took a shield, which can be regen with R2. Which yeah. A one, a one bank is not going to regen that. He's going to, is going to, you'll regen the shield, but you'll probably lose it on the asteroid collision. Yeah. Now that, oh, that's his. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's that's great, because it means the, it means the, why wing's not getting fired up by that bandit, at least. Yeah. The, okay, the B-wing is at range one, but it's still yeah. something. Now that, that other Xenoph is moving in for... A possible next turn attack on something. Yeah, definitely, and it's not going to bump the Z95. Would be it would have been great for Joe if it would have been such a way that that Z95 would have bumped yeah. his partner. Yeah, I think Lane set it up so it couldn't do that. that yeah. Hence the uh, the one bank last turn. Yeah, indeed. So it was it was never going to quite be in range with that move. So Ooh. now that B wing, that B wings in just a... moving Ooh. directly in front of another B wing. Yeah. Definitely like, in range of each other, but that X Wing is safe now. That X Wing is safe. So the sacrificial X Wing is no longer going to be hit by nearly anything. The E Wing, of course, probably not going to do too much. Probably going to come in range of the other of the B Wing. But the, don't forget, the E Wing here cannot be hit by anything. No. Again, it's yeah. perfectly safe now. Perfectly safe. The A Wing can in, like, slowly get him to the E Wing, but that it's unlikely. The E Wing is going to form a two, uh, two right because if Leighton is able to get that, e, get that B Wing. Joe's B wing in is firing up. It can turn one of the heavy laser cannon crits from that beat. Hits yeah, like into a crit, which can be devastating. Oh, a two bank. Mm, I think ooh, I believe that's just in. Ooh, yeah, definitely. Just in arms. Yeah, it's it's going to be just in range. If bit. not, that Y wing is definitely. Oh, now bank. now it is. Oh, now it is. That yeah, that's boost, it is. That is that is straight in your face. That yeah, is, let's uh, make an attack next round. <laughs> yeah, like that thing that's, is... Yeah. The B-Wing isn't moving very far, neither is the Y-Wing. Then again, uh, the, that Y-Wing is within range with an Ion Cannon, so we could see an Ion. Yeah, the Y-Wing is going to have to move, and it's going to have to move probably through a B-Wing and an Asteroid to do that. Not nice. Like that, that's a lot of things to bump. <laughs> and there's also two z 95s behind you. Like it's, that is one, two, and possibly a third hit. I think it's only two, though. Uh, uh, no, it's three, three, and no and evade. No evades. Wow! Wow! That so was what was e that? That was the E wing because E wing pilot skill five attacking yeah. first all the time um, on the Y wing, I believe. Yeah, it's got well. It's either the Y wing or the B wing. Uh, the Y wing or the B wing. It looks like it was the B wing since the shields have been taken off. Yeah. It's down on one shield. Well, that's that's probably the right choice there because there's another B yeah. wing there waiting to get in. Indeed. So, so yeah, the B wing shooting the other B wing. Range one. One, two, three hits. Three hits. This is not the heavy laser cannon. It's a range one blind uh, blind spot. So that's looks and like no evade. No evade. Two hits of crit. So uh, we have our first crit of the game, it seems. Which, yeah. the question is, what is it? What is it? <laughs> oh, that's something I didn't consider. Ah, yes. <laughs> I Hitch number one. Oh, 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 oh thank no, you. he's being blinded awesome. injured oh, pilot. players must ignore your pilot ability and you all of your... Right? Yeah, yeah, thank you for that. Thank you. It's well played. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, that's... that's mm. Not really an effective. So that was a pilot injury, injury to injured pilot. Um, it's to, not, with, to the B wing, wasn't to it? To the B wing. Um, it's not really effective because the B wing. It's a, it's a generic pilot B wing. Doesn't have a, uh, elite pilot talent or a pilot skill. So. Oh, get ready for some, some MacGyver level stuff here, guys. <laughs> with massive titles that immediately become really tiny. <laughs> just gonna <laughs> let's just pop this thing around here somewhere. Oh god, how professional am I? Like <laughs> professional streaming. Oh god, what have I done there? We, we, we're getting the kinks sorted out. <laughs> oh, what was the button I can do that with? Oh thank god, it doesn't do it. There's a horrible camera button I actually found the other day where you can just like rotate the camera on wow. the Z axis. And I was looking at myself like. At least when we do this for proper, when we do the tournament. In theory, it will be theory. good. In it theory, it will be perfectly fine. <laughs> a nice little overlay we'll right do it us. live <laughs> oh three hits on the b-wing so that b-wing is now gone oh which... so re blue b-wing down blue wing down the dagger squadron which that is high so all you've got to worry about is your tarn firing before you which 
that's obviously the next big target. Yeah. However, conversely, you have that Y wing is going to have to form an iron cannon shot. I think. Yeah. Now there's absolutely nothing in uh, well has any ability to fire on the E wing here. It's uh, completely. Actually, I, the iron cannon can because it's a 360 degree oh, okay. arc. Um, as long as it's within range one to two, it can. So it does. It looks like it may be in range of. It two, looks like so. it may just be within range. We'll see. Joe taking his time. <laughs> Three, Three hits. hits. That's what you want to see. And that's got to be a. Uh, oh. Nothing. Nothing. So. Yep. It looks. Oh, this is the far. Interesting. So the far the uh, bandit has been ionized. So he can only move forward one next turn. Oh, that's good because it means that the other Xenotype is going to have to move quite far away, and also there's no bump. Indeed. Like so, it's going to cause a, a minor split. Unless the other one only wants to move one as well. Mm. But I, I would have tried for the shot on the E-wing because you can keep that thing locked down as far as possible. Um, then again, that you, you always worry that three, those three agility dice. Yeah, they could, they could screw yeah. you. That's two hits or two one hits. hit. One hit. Oh. No. Oh wow! Yeah, the B wing, both B wings are taken both out. Both B wings down. Both B wings down. B wings down. The heavy hitters, and the problem is now Joe's alphabet squadron hasn't got the punch. I mean, the rookie is the heavy hitter now. Yeah, which I mean, the gold squadron not going to be doing much. It's not a. It's a very a, not very yeah. maneuverable ship. Um, so we we've, we've really only got an ion cannon and a, a X wing and an A wing in play. Yeah. And there's and, and on the other side. You've got two bandits, and two bandits and an E wing, e -wing which like, arguably better. Yeah, I mean the E wing is going to be able to pick something off next turn, or mm. at least do some severe damage to it. And the Xenoph is going to be able to really get in there and push some damage through. Mm. I think Joe really needs to kind of button down strategy for getting that E wing out of the way. Yeah, because... I think I think what this is going to be is the A wing and the X wing are just going to, as far as they can, move to the just bank to, or turn to the right in order to make the E wing have to perform either a severe maneuver to get through or to focus down the Y wing and try and then maneuver through to take out X or A. I, I agree. I think uh, the best thing that he could do is try and get that Y wing at a point where he can iron cannon anything he can feel like it. So he can try and shoot out, take out what if he can. If he can't take it out, there's always that, that one shot with the Y wing. Because all it takes is one hit to iron someone. It does one damage, but still, one hit. That's all it takes. Yeah. Right, and of course that E wing still stressed to be stressed for three yeah, the, turns. Yeah, the E wing has been stressed pretty much since the start of the uh, the game. Well, basically since the start of this skirmish, it was stressed immediately, and then since then has had nothing else really good happen to it to cause that. I mean, he got rid of stress with the the two bank. However, he then pushed the limit to take both two actions. Which... Yeah, which was fair enough. He got yeah. him in range. He got him in range. Some severe then, damage to the B yeah. wing, which then went down. So, and you know, you never want a turn in a position where he's not pointing at someone because his ability is that good yeah so what this is probably going to be is the E-wing going to the uh, yeah. just banking round two hopefully behind one of the X or A-wings the, the Y-wing of course will be in position now that A-wing just going forward is that, is that a 3k turn yes it is 3k yeah. turn oh. so that A-wing is now stressed yeah so that's no action but he's facing exactly where he needs to be and what is, I reckon this is going to be a 4k turn or a 3k turn and there we go 4k turn <laughs> yeah so that's just coming back, swing back around to itself. Slightly different than we predicted, but it effectively ends up the same without an extra turn having to be added in. Hmm. So pretty much whichever way the E-Wing goes is going to be in range of something next turn. So, and just banking <laughs> straight through another right asteroid. Another asteroid. <laughs> well, wow. see if that's another hit that happens. Yeah. And not regenerating. His sh He's not using R2. R2 right now is wasted points. Four points wasted. He gets hit again. He gets hit again. That's another shield down. <laughs> well, I don't need this title anymore because it's not that. <laughs> the B-Wing's dead. The pilot got injured and then died. <laughs> Which is quite unfortunate, I suppose. Yeah, man. <laughs> and the bandit's doing a three bank. That's just going to bring it in range yeah. of the, uh, the definite X-Wing. Yeah. Probably not the A-Wing, but it might just be at the uh, right edge of it. No, so. I, I think that that would be within range. Um, just, yeah. just barely. I think yeah, it's definitely just, range Just within three, the edge but... of the range. But Now, the E-Wing here, probably not doing, uh, not a, doing a, a turn, a turn <laughs> as far, because otherwise that is going to hit a, a Z95. Yeah. And there goes the, uh, the Z95 doing its one forward because of the Ion, which it removes mm -hmm. the Ion token now. Still that thing is going to have to turn to the right to avoid that asteroid. Yep. If it goes forwards... I know, if it goes uh, forward, I think it could just sit beside it. It probably just misses it, but there's always a chance it might just hit it. As well. You never want to risk it. And no, if you, unless if you, you're sure if of what's happening. Ab you need to be absolutely sure of where you're moving that you will not touch yeah. the asteroid. Now, that E-Wing could just move Ooh. forwards, so mm. that's going to be... That's interesting. It's, it's going for the, the Y-Wing. Yeah. You know, 
which is so, not a bad choice. I mean, that Y wing is not doing any tight turns <laughs> anytime soon. No, it's uh, if it starts turning uh, to. I bet it's going to do a, to, a, a two if left it, turn through if that it turns, If it turns to the right, it's going to be safe, but it's not going to be able to hit anything. So, yeah, it's going to the E wing taking shots at the Y wing. I'm so. going to face palm if that thing goes for the last right. Hey, it's taken two hits already. Can't get much, un, more, much more unlucky. Here we go. One, two, three, possibly a four. Possibly fourth. And of course, one gets turned to a crit. Three, two hits and a crit mm. on an undefended Y wing. That's potential death. Right, so. Here we go. The two hits and the crit. What is it? The crit Direct is... Direct hit, two damage to the ship, and that's the worst one you want in your deck. So... <laughs> so the Y-Wing's now down to one hull. One hull remaining on the Y-Wing. So it's still alive, and with the bandits out of range, so it's it lives for one more turn. It's got one more shot, but it needs to make that shot count. Wow, so that was quite an impressive turn there for late, and what he needed pretty much uh, exactly there. Just... Oh, well, no, he would have preferred to take the... Uh, to have taken the uh, the the Y wing straight down, yeah. so it wasn't even in play anymore. But you know, you're all right with it being uh, just literally on death's door. Yeah. If that thing does perform a two left turn, it's going to uh, it's going to just die. Well, you see now, probably it's just going to die. It would change my tactic because I don't want to ionize the E wing because that's well. Then again, I could probably just barely turn outside of that. Of yeah. firing arc. Uh, I'm pretty sure even if you turn, the E-Wing will be able to just get Barrel back within range boost, and then yeah. murder you out. Um, well, I, the the E-Wing is no longer stressed. Yeah, it's finally got rid of that stress. It's so got rid of that stress. The yeah. problem here is that that Z95 is pretty much going through the asteroid to avoid the E-Wing, so there's no bump. So it's probably going to take a hit. Most likely. And that's three hit hits. Two, that's, that's a hit to focus, I believe. Oh, it does. Yeah, probably. Yep. So, yeah, that's, evade, the, that's an evade. Nothing happened. Nothing. <laughs> then nothing of note happened apart from the Y Wing nearly died. Nearly. <laughs> yeah. Now. Spending. Oh, that's gone. And we're back to the dials again. Right. So. <laughs> that Z95 is going to be performing a left turn through an asteroid <laughs> to clear the way for an E Wing to murder a Y Wing. So, there is pretty much no way, other, other ways for that to happen. Unless Layton has some sort of tricks hidden up his sleeve. Mm. He could move the other Z95 forwards first towards the X-Wing. Yeah, that's and then I do. And I don't actually think... I think if he moves forwards, he's going to hit the the E-Wing. So that, that Z95 well, in the middle has yeah, to take a left. great about having two ships at the same parcel. You can choose which one goes first. So yeah. you could potentially, indeed, move that Z95 before and just slot the, Z, the other Z95 exactly where it is right now. Um, mm. It takes some work, but... I think it's actually just going to be the top Z95 moving slightly further forwards and the other one going through the asteroid. I can't help but notice that Leighton has yet to place down his dials while Joe... They know exactly Joe, Joe already what had doing. what he was doing. He, he was like, okay, exactly I need to move doing. here and here. The Y-Wing has to get as far out, uh, has to move as far as possible so the E-Wing, when it chases it, has to move further out of the battle and yeah. then it's an extra turn to get back extra in the fight. Time. Also, in my experience... This is very psychological. If you know exactly what you're doing and your opponent is a bit unsure, it can be really damaging to their psyche and they can sometimes double guess themselves yeah. and go to the exact move you want them to go to because they think you do something completely different. And yeah. That's what it takes. Definitely it was late in just checking his uh, <laughs> top side Z95. Making sure that it's the right move. So I've done the, it the A wing and probably A -wing just going to be forward. moving forwards. Possibly. It's got oh. a five. The five forward is green. Um, so anything from one to. One no, that's just a, that's, that's just a two, a two, just a two, two forward. Just making sure it's definitely in range of every single thing on uh, on Leighton's side. The Z95 is going to go past its firing arc, maybe even turning into the A-Wing uh, in an attempt to bl both block the X-Wing and get a shot on the A-Wing. Yeah, no. um, now the, the X-Wing here, one just forward. Uh, so that they're going to be level here. They're yeah, going to be able to, to swoop in on something if they need it. So they'll be able to hook around on a, a 2 and a 3 or a 3 and a 4, and both be in range of. See, the E-Wing wants to take out the Y-Wing, which may be maybe the most important one. When the, if, because the Y-Wing is the y -wing, most probably yeah. going down here. That is, that's things going down this turn. So yeah, finally the Y-Wing not driving straight through an asteroid. <laughs> going so, forward. Um, so basically here, to, for the E-Wing to get in, it's going to have to move at least one. Probably two to make sure it's definitely in range and it's got a bit more protection. Well, you can't really go three because it's going then to hit an asteroid. Yeah. So the point here being, so if he does that, the well, that's that is wow, blocking that is, ooh, hard. That is going. That's a hard ooh. block, still in range, still in range, and it's got shot on both yeah. the X wing and, and if it, the A-wing. If it lives, the it will cause a bump or a turn to the left for the X wing. Now what lay in here? Yeah. So there's the there's the turn. Not necessarily because if you can go past, if you make sure you land past. 
happens, you know, five, you're fine. Yeah, um, if you can make sure that, but if you don't, then so that, those... Those Z bandits possibly take bridge. trying to take down the A wing now or the X wing. The interesting question is what the E wing is going to do. Is it going to turn it into to go out, try and turn those hits to Chris, or is it just going to go gunning for the? A? It's ah, going to turn in. It's going to turn in. <laughs> Make sure it's got a range on anything. No, it can't no. hit the Y wing. The Y wing is out of the fight at this point. Yeah, the, yeah it's going to take a turn for it to come back. If you look at that, that is the perfect setup for an iron cannon. Iron it, get that A wing behind that yeah. E wing. He's pushing it. He's pushing it. So yeah, that's going to be an A-wing down. There we go. Okay, That's so going to be everything he can boost. on the A-wing. Will he push the limit to do another action? Will he focus? Will he, will he get himself stressed for that? I think if you stretch yourself here, you'll take it. You're, you're yeah. gunning for one of those two. And most likely the A-wing. Most likely. Even though it's got the the higher evade, it's going to, you're probably hitting it with this many shots. It's more squishy. So yeah. it's going it, to... Well, it takes with, four hits gone. With the and he's pushed the limit. Stress yeah. and focus. Now, with the Y-wing only on one hull, it, it's going to take a bit of time for it to come back in. And when it does, it's going to be facing down probably two, uh, definitely two, definitely two probably ships. three ships. If With you get one hull point. Yeah. Not good odds. So I yeah, still don't think his, it's out. Because, no, it's definitely yeah. not out yet. But Ethan here shooting on the A-Wing, going as, just gunning for it. Now, oh, one, two, uh, one three. One, and, well, okay, there's the B-Wing just falling onto the table. one focus at least. Uh, that's, so that's... Uh, Okay. Two, hit a crit, it seems yeah, he transformed one into a crit. And oh. no evade. Ewing down, oh. Ewing down. Uh, <laughs> Everything goes that, the wing. Yeah, goes straight, the down. straight down. So the, the Z95 is going to be able to take shots on the uh, on the X-Wing. Oh, gee, man, I couldn't play that. Three blank results on <laughs> defense dice. <laughs> and the crit is... <laughs> Not really bad. So he, oh, right. he, he, he wouldn't have been able to do anything. He couldn't do anything anyway. <laughs> it's like it's down, but it's completely dead. <laughs> That would have been one oh, and a direct hit. To, uh, just to add insult to injury. Yeah. Just to try to well, at least that one's not in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's gone, gone again. It's one less to it's, deal it's with. One less now. <laughs> well, i got to worry about the other four. <laughs> yeah, that was three other ships. So it's, it's a three to two ship. Now, this is a, a, a swing here. Yeah. Taking out one ship just straight up with well, only one of yours. Really, really it's, it's three versus one because that Y-Wing, one hit, and with one agility dice, yeah. it will go down. Although with the Ion Cannon, you are able to stop maybe the E-Wing pursuing you next turn. Indeed. but those... If the X-Wing gets taken out, you're probably losing this, but it's more of a measure of how long you can you can stretch it for. It does look like we have four, three hits and a crit on, that, on, the, on the Bandit. Yeah. And it's got a minor hull breach, so it must roll an attack dice. On a hit, suffer a hit, so a potential more damage doing. That could mm. be the Z95 down. Here we go. Oh, it's not out, but we've now got an ion cannon shot, it seems. Yeah, now that seems to be hitting on... Oh, oh yeah, just, just making sure we're, we're, what range we're at. Ah, uh, that's within range too. No, that's slightly different for us because that's we're true. seeing it from that's an true. angle. That's true. From an angle. So I think that's probably just, knowing just the about. angle, probably just range three. Just about. Well, we'll soon see. Isn't it? Focus, hit, hit. Wow. Right. Nothing. No evade. <laughs> Nothing. Wow. Wow. The so dice yeah. are not with. Well, that's Xeno 5 oh. now. The Xeno 5 was the strange choice. Yeah, I would have gone for the E Wing. Well, I suppose the E Wing is stressed here. Yeah, but the thing is, if you the one fall on E wing's not great, so no. it would still be stressed. Yeah, I would have gone for the E wing. Okay, you've got one less dice, or more dice against you, but you still got. I uh, that would have been the big one. Joe, Joe just casually double evaded though. <laughs> he just double evaded. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna evade. Just, uh, just a casual. Nah, that's not for me. Uh, that is. So that was the first E wing. Now the ionized E wing is is firing. And nothing. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the uh, dice is. It's working in Joe's favour at this point. It, they're helping him to some degree because that rookie pilot has still got its all of its shields. It's untouched, so yeah. that is its advantage at this point. It is untouched. Hmm. Question is for how long? Yeah. Now, <laughs> basically, none of Leighton's ships have taken damage anymore. No, they're all they're all pretty much untouched except from the ionisation that's happened on the the same Z95 the twice. The same Z95 twice. So uh, the E wing again untouched. Three shields still remaining. Yeah, that I don't think there's much that can contend with that, especially with how many points you invest in that. And I am a believer that if you go for an E wing, you want to go for high pilot scale. You want to invest points in that because unless you invest points, the strength in the E wing is its upgrades. Yeah, and now, Leighton has used that to his advantage. The X wing here probably going to it can't really get out of anywhere. 
No. It, it basically can't jet off somewhere to get out of range. Oh, well, to most, be fair, it most likely it is going to do a probably K-turn. can. It could just try and zoom off behind the 95s. That's exactly what it's going to do. It's going to do a K turn to try and get that ionized C95 exactly where it knows it's going to go. Yeah. So. Yeah. So the Y Wing here is probably going to slowly begin turning around the asteroid in the bottom left. Most likely crashing into it. So. Oh, no, it probably won't. It'll just try and slowly bank around a couple of turns. Just end up where it is on the other side <laughs> facing up. Yeah. Just a, a long loop around. That thing can K turn, but you really don't want to K turn in that thing. No, now, especially into all the asteroids that's already hit. It's only got one green maneuver on its stars fast enough. Or is it two? <laughs> well, it's got, it's got R2. It's got, it's, yeah, yeah. That is true. It has got R2. And in fact, it has regained a shield, so it's only got two hit points left. So yeah. maybe that's that's what Joe is going for. He's trying to get that, the shields, which the shields are three shields, not too bad. That's an entire hit from an E-Wing, essentially. Yeah, but it does, it does have only one hull point. True. It is. It is falling apart. It is falling apart. It's the pilot is just sitting on nothing right now. Yeah, his his seat is already <laughs> holding the ship together. And I want forward so. to regain another shield. Yeah, and there goes the shield right on there. Yeah. So he's slowly building his strength back up now. However much you do that, it's probably not the best. Probably not going to do too much in no. the end. Simply because you're facing down an already uh, impressive force of Z95 E wing. So it's going to be a little bit of a problem, but maybe not too much. Maybe not too much. I mean, we've got to focus from the... Right, that that's a bump. All right, yeah. No, no, no. Mm. Corner to corner. That's fine. Ah, okay. That's fine. Uh, right, so... so he flies through. He takes the stress, but he is in a prime attack position. I could definitely see that E-Wing coming around to get a shot on that next week. Yeah. Now, there is there is a problem here in that one Z95 is going to inch in to... The, the X-Wing's arc here. It's going can't to get out. One up. Can't do anything else. So yeah, there, there it goes. goes. Straight forward. It's yeah, in arc. It can't do anything else. It's just going to sit there. I'd say a range two, most likely. That looks like it could do, It could be could a range just, one. Just, just be range one. We have a problem with this in that I, my camera is not set up on top of the table. <laughs> leaning down. So, right. And the E-Wing just... Straight. Straight in. Interesting. <laughs> Well, it's in no harm right now. No harm. Mm, I, mm, I it's not stressed anymore. anymore. Not stressed. Not so stressed. he he had been stressed the time before, and he's again he's calmed down. He's had a cup of tea. <laughs> he's ready to go. Now I want the new films to be about an Ewing pilot sipping tea. Just oh no, no! There we go. Oh, there we he's, go. He's boosting. Boost. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. So he's back again. He's right. back. <laughs> Still not not bearing on anything. No, so he's he's not bearing down on anything, but, but next turn he may be able to just turn straight around and take out... This is what I call temptation, because there's that bandit at potential range 1, but then there's that E-wing that's There's a, a giant E-wing that can't do anything. <laughs> and you've got a shot on it. Yeah, It's so, range 3, but you've got a shot on it. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a, there's the uh, the Xenoph, I'm just checking what range it is. It's, like it's range a, 3. Whenever you get a phantom in shot, you want to take that shot. Yeah, you take, you take the shot. And there we go. Uh, that's like, like 3 hits. And two of eight. Wow. Wow. Oh. However, the Xenofab the Xeno the had been damaged the, earlier. Still bites the dust. Yeah. And a direct hit. Yeah. He just, <laughs> yeah God, this the is the game of direct hits. Yeah. So it's 2v2. Who shuffled the deck? <laughs> I don't think they did. Oh, I God. think they, they were like, it's not a tournament, we won't shuffle. No, I bet they wish they had shuffled. Yeah. So it's... A, uh, one hit. And one of eight. Yeah, so this is uh, a Z95 plus huge E wing versus X wing and a basically dead Y wing that's yeah. just motoring her off towards the border. But slowly, very slowly, Joe is leveling the playing field. Yeah. That's another bandit down. Yeah, he's one down. He's slowly regaining control of this. And now. bandit has one hit, as we can see on the card there. So it takes one more bandit down. Yeah, now that, that is definitely a possibility. The X wing here proving its worth. It is shadowed. It's a wing friend which went down indeed but didn't take any damage itself or did it there might is taken one uh the well the x-wing yeah the x-wing's taken no shots at all. no shots right, it's okay. still full health i know it evaded both the xeno fights yeah it has a, it's, it's been like, very evaded <laughs> for a rookie pilot he's very skilled he, he's he's <laughs> got some uh some knowledge in there somewhere and a that's forward. just a, a one forward uh, i'm thinking maybe that that's just five. to remove i think yeah. that's pretty going to be to remove the stress yeah i wonder if the xeno five is going to turn try and turn to the side of the x-wing so it's 
not firing at it, but it's not getting fired at as well. No, that is a very big possibility. Ah, there we go. Ah, there we Why go. are we beginning its beginning turn its, back? Starting its attack run. Okay, it's slowly turning around the asteroid. It took a wide berth this time, just so there's no possibility. Well, you know that in uh, space, time. asteroids were like roundabouts? Yeah, it's exactly the same. I wish the asteroids moved. <laughs> Every turn they just randomly moved into different I wish directions. they were 3D. I wish we had models for those things. Oh, I could probably do some. Oh, yes. Yeah, so. nice. Oh, wow. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, that's just... Oh, hey, dude. That, that, you, uh, you don't get to move next turn. Yeah, no, and then I get a shot on each other. And the Xenophile doesn't get a action, which it wouldn't get anyway. I don't actually think they bumped. No, I think I they definitely did bump. Uh, um, I don't know. But yeah, okay, so the E-Wing... Moving, moving around. I imagine this is going to go to be a push it. He's going yeah, to push it and turn and into boost. into the X-wing's side. I'd be shocked if he didn't. Yeah, it's very true. So, uh, oh. is he already in the arc? No, he's he's missing it, but the X-wing is not able to shoot anyway. Oh god, this has been it's been a back and forth game. This, I mean, it, yeah. mostly Lane's had the advantage, but Joe's starting to inch, yeah, he's slowly inch catch up. He's slowly bringing it back. Um, the problem is that very maneuverable E wing is gonna get out of arc and get in, get out of your firing arc and get you into his firing arc, which every time. which he has done. So yes. the the X wing is in Push his sights. Focus. He's definitely gonna be going in. And right. here come the rolls. A ton of butt on the X wing. One. Uh, whoa, two hits, two focus, and the f that's four hits plus one crit. So we could. That's a potential one shot if that direct if that crit is a is a direct hit. And there goes one evade. The asteroids do move when you roll. Yeah, when you them. when you hit them with the dice. <laughs> so that's one evade. So definitely two shields gone, and here come the cards. Is it going to be another direct hit? No injured pilot. It's an injured pilot. So again, a rookie doesn't, pilot doesn't really matter much because rookies don't have special abilities, and there's no elite pilot talent on them. So no. again, best card. I once had a friend of mine get one of those on a Phantom. Not the best thing you want to have. <laughs> the, the Definitely not. <laughs> right. So that X-wing is probably going to go down very soon. Yeah, that X-wing. Yeah, it's got two. It's got two hits left. So yeah. potential to die next turn. Um, but you gotta wonder if that X wing is gonna. Right, gonna the that X wing. Y, if that Y wing is gonna come in and affect things much. Yeah, I mean, it's probably going to be. I, I think that's probably gonna be the the line that he takes. If here. if that Y wing can be out of a time's firing arc, it can shoot at that B wing and uh, sorry, the Z Knight five and kill it because a time attacks first. Goldie must be without outside of a time's arc to stay alive. To make each shot count. Yeah. Now. But I can't spell. There we go. And join titles. Red X. Sounds like an energy drink. Right. Okay. So let's shrink it to the same size as this one. A roundabout. Right. There we go. Look at that. Wow. Professional <laughs> professional streaming. Uh, so that that Y wing is just going to be taking a two bank right, slowly coming back into the fight. Slowly move up. So, right. Oh so these. This could potentially this, be the final the, round. The eggs and the Z95 just could slowly bump into each other. I I, um, can, I can see that Z95. Well, I was thinking that Z95 could K turn, but it can't. It's got its stress. It, there's and a, here comes the Y wing. Slowly but surely, trying to get back in. <laughs> Wait for me, guys. Hole. I'm coming. I think the plan here was for the, the Y wing just slowly move in. And uh, so yeah, the X wing, X wing K turning, moving around, and we're getting into a jab situation where it's just K turn back forward, back forward, back forward. Yeah, although as we know, the the Xenopher cannot do that. As of now, no. Uh, but that E wing is a contender. Yeah, the E wing is. Well, the E wing is also stressed. And to remove that stress, it can't do a two turn. Well, it can do a two turn, just won't be taking actions. No. So what's going to be happening here? As a focus on the bandit and attempt to avoid being killed. Oh boy, and here we go. Snookering the bandit for the first time <laughs> of the game in an attempt to see where that E wing is going. Okay, so it's taking a bank. So even if even if it does a boost, it's not going to have a firing arc on the X wing, but it's probably going to have a firing arc on the Y wing. Yeah, and I think that's the most important one here. Taking that ion cannon out of range so that there is no. There's um, no control. In yeah, there's no there's no uh, restriction of movement. 
is probably going to be what the, the line from Leighton here is, where we we see definitely a move on to uh, just hoping to. Oh, oh, here we go. No, that oh, no. could that no. could actually be a move on to the X wing here. Yeah, potentially. This this could be a definite attack to remove the higher damage. Because that why we're yeah. basically at this point going to try and get in there and just restrict a piece of movement. And I think they're trying to... No, no, that's not going to have a fire no, at all. That does have an arc on the wind bit. If it's, only if it's in range. Uh, which it, it looks like it's range 3, so that it, the, X, the one is going to get two defense dice. So it's, yeah. got, it's got a bit of a boost for that. That, that he could survive. He, he, yeah, he he's could. A he's only got he's one plucky. hull though. Any damage getting it, yeah, range is three, basically going to be dead. W one damage. That's what it takes. But that's what it takes. One damage. You can roll blanks on your hits and l one focus. So he's got a chance here. He's got a chance. Yeah, he has a minor chance here, but he has to roll one. If he misses on both dice, then it's it's all for nothing. He's not going to spend the focus for the hit. No, he's he's going to use it for defense. Why is this That's a, a good call. Though. Good call. Yeah. So the Y wing we know is in range as well. Because yeah, the Y wing is the... in range, but not with the iron cannon, but no. with the primary weapon, which can do make all the difference. Yeah. He's only got two, but those two can be enough. I think that um, was that was just yeah, enough. He he focused. So now you got a prime moment here where your rookie pilot's got a bearing on that E wing. It's not going to focus. It's going to take the hits if it doesn't yeah. roll the evades. Two hits. Two hit. And, and I think it is on the yes, it's on the on the E wing, and that's evades. All, all the evades, triple of the evades, world. all the evades of the world. So, right, yeah. So well, slowly, waste of uh, endeavour, but okay. <laughs> yeah, so slowly moving that in there. It's definitely a uh, a, a lucky roll there, but you know that yeah. happens. So it the does D, happen. the Z five gonna have to try and get back in the fight here. I'm surprised that that Y wing survived for another round. I am surprised it did, but you know. It, <laughs> The roll of the dice, it does yeah. happen. The dice if it had been fickle. three hits, that was, that was oh, going to be it. Yeah, that would have been it. Down. But I, basically at here, that the, point, I don't even bother rolling. It's like, yeah. No, you're yeah, like, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just dead. <laughs> I don't want to tease myself. Yeah. How many I could have saved. So. Is at this point you wish that you put an engine upgrade on that wiring up? That's fun to play. <laughs> yeah. Now, the I think this actually might be here we go. Now, a... The question is... Is the E-Wing going to die for the Y-Wing? Wh yeah, which one does it go for? Type <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Like, nice. our, our mic is right. I like to turn the sensitivity down, to be fair. Uh, our mic is next to our keyboard, and I type quite heavily. I will type quieter, though. Thank you, Ocelain. We're not really in the <laughs> Pentagon of I am not. here. <laughs> I am not exactly using the greatest keyboard for this. It's a nice keyboard. Though. Anyway, so, yeah. So, the X-Wing just moving in. The Y-Wing here going to try and move as either little as possible or just going to... There we go. There we go. One... To get that shield up, and of course we're forgetting Y wing now has got four yeah, three shields, it's one hull. Shields back. If that E wing gets at range one, it can take it out. If it doesn't, it can't. So yeah, I, it will be able to get to range one from there. It will. The question is if Layton can predict that. Yeah. Because he could have predicted a turn. Um, yeah, I mean basically I think that's the only line that you take with the Y wing. You don't, you don't try not to a K turn from the bandit. It's doing a, a yeah. A right. Is this just to be faultless? Yeah, I will. Um, I will pop that in the chat for you. So this is for uh, Joe. He's on the right. He's playing red dots. He's playing alphabet soup. And this is the BEs, the BZs, and that's Layton, who's on the left. So look at that. So yeah, that's the the yeah. E wing. Well, it's out of the X wing's range. Yeah, and I think that may have been the oh oh barrel rolling. Yeah, so barrel rolling into arc, I believe. Yes. Uh, I don't think that's actually in range well, of the X Wing. I think that could just have a hair over. I don't think so. I I I I think there. he's I've been, just out. I think he, but only just. Only just. Yeah, so he's hey, definitely so. not in range of the E Wing. <laughs> the E Wing is not in range, which is why he was hoping for. <laughs> And of course the yeah, Y the Y wing is. We but, need the Y wing. And the Y wing only I think just has got a shot with its iron cannon. I don't think the iron cannon. I think it's just over two. I mean, we'll see. Oh, they're remeasuring to make sure. This is definitely contention here. As yeah, for, yeah. Yeah. The, the yeah. X wing just out. Just out. However, it does have a shot on the other Z95. It's going which, to take down the other one. Which means that this will get to a two-on-one situation, whereas before we thought one was going to be a three, three hits, hits. <laughs> with two defense dice. <laughs> Actually, no, three, range three, yeah, possibly, so possibly. 
one. Yeah, no. I will be doing that. I this is just a test stream because we've got a tournament coming up in store. I just wanted to see what I have to work with. Then I will build an overlay for this. And yeah, we'll have everything on there. George has promised me things. <laughs> I have said that I will, and therefore I apparently have to. Um, but yeah, I'll have a proper overlay done for it. I just need to get around to finishing it. I just didn't know how much screen space I'd have to work with, unfortunately. But yeah. And yeah, there will be everything will be on there, yeah, hopefully. But yeah, so the other Z95 just, just, just completely gone. gone, vaporized, and and now it's in the unlikely situation we find Joe with the more ships. Yeah, I mean, well, the the way it was played was quite correct. The Y-wing would, so yeah, he's turret. firing the ion cannon Here we go. just in range. Just in range. <laughs> Three hits with wow. the ion cannon. Oh, two, two hits and a crit. Ah. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> One evade, two nothing. That E wing is going forward next turn, and that is the best thing you could possibly want. Yeah, and yeah, thanks, man. It's always good. That's why we posted on the FFG forum just to see what people wanted. But <laughs> so now, if I was in Joshi's, I think this is maybe what you could do. That E wing is close to the edge of the board. If he can eye on that thing off the board, that's a victory. Yeah. Now. What's going to happen here? I think the X Wing may just perform a turn around just to take one or two final shots because the E Wing doesn't currently have damage, I believe. It does have damage. It Nor can be melted down yeah, fairly fast. Indeed, it can. Um, however, I I do think we have Joe. Joe's at the advantage at this stage. He is in a prime position here. Um, he's got to be careful, though, because the E Wing will move after him, so he's got to make sure he doesn't bump into that thing. Yeah, you've got to make sure you don't accidentally bump it, yeah. so that nothing can a, happen. A two turn is probably going to bump into that E Wing. Yeah, like, I, if you can just move a bit forwards, maybe push it a bit further, but not much further. No. So, yeah, the, the, uh, there we go. Oh, yeah. oh, 4K turn. Wow, okay. Okay, so. This is definitely in range, and he's going to aim to put the, he's gonna aim to put some hurt down on there, on Leighton here. And, um, and because the one forward isn't a great manoeuvre, it means that E Wing will still be stressed, so it's not going to form actions either. Yeah. So it's in a price in the best yeah, place. Yeah, it absolutely can be. nothing is. So the best for here, so the way he's moved up, both the Y Wing and the X Wing are going to be in range. I take a shot with and the that's, weapons. Yeah, so he's going to aim to either put some hurt down and do it all, so. That is true. Yeah, so that's that's exactly, 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 exactly what Joe has done. He's moved it so that that's there. He's, oh, he's boosting. Oh, 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 oh. He is just oh. on board. <laughs> oh. If oh. he can hit that with the ion cannon. <laughs> that is out. He is, he is gone. <laughs> Which I believe they still have shots. Yeah, they still have shots. This is going to be incredible. So yeah, this is, this is it. This is the final, well, not the final, but one of the last... Last place we could have. So, the thing is though, is the iron can does one damage, so the shields have been taken. One shield's been taken off that um, E wing. Yeah. And it, which it's not much, but it's something. It can't yeah. regain that shield. Basically, I think what you do here is you you take the ion shot first. Yeah. And if it hits, you're like game. Well, for, well yeah, that's true. That both parts skill two, you can opt to do that. Yeah. So it's. Well, no. What's he in range with? He's first. in range. Of, he's obviously range three, but he yeah. is in range. He's in range, and so. those those dice. Joe is praying for four blanks on on, yeah, this, yeah. Uh, on those dice, and that's one hit with no focus. Oh, re-roll. That. Uh, two of eight. Two of eight. Right. So, this. What are we going to see here? That is because Leighton is in a tough position. He is in a very tough position here. Um, if an ion hits, he is out. I, I, I believe uh, that was actually the iron roll, and they he's not been got the ionization, so ah. we could that E wing is still within play. It's gonna turn off. That's gonna turn off, and but it's gonna turn off into into a kill box, into an absolute pretty much dead zone. Yeah, like whichever way you go from here, you are going to be hit from one or two places. Like there is there is no way there out. There's no way you there's, no, there's no door. Yeah. And even if you do get that even with an arc or something, you've got two targets to deal with. And you can yeah. only shoot once. So it's the the Y Wing's the obvious target there for taking down actually being sure you're gonna take that down. But then you've got the X Wing dealing more damage. So so do you go for the control or do you go for the actual damage? That's the question. Yeah. Now I think what's gonna happen here is the Y Wing is gonna turn slightly so it's the the presumed move for the E Wing here would be to move towards the bottom left of the board. 
Mm. If possible, to just try and sweep around. If not, he's going to have to turn he may, perfectly far around into he may, the path he may, of the X-Wing and the Wyvern. He may advance sensors to um, Barrel Roll before he moves so he can get further away from the edge. Yeah, that, that's probably what he's going to be. The X-Wing here moving into pretty much the optimal position yeah. in mm. that it's going to be incredibly hard for it to, to really get out of here. Mm. Like the effectively, the wing has to be able to be behind the X wing and out of the Y wing's fire zone. Taking and the Y wing has an ion cannon, which yeah, can shoot everywhere. It can shoot everywhere. Um, so it's as long as it's in the right too, and yeah. it's probably going to be in that. And interestingly, the, the X wing, Joe just gunning for it, not clearing the stress. Yeah, no. three bank, just going for it. Um, not good odds against firing with no focus or target lock, but you still got a chance. Yeah, no, that's long. So barrel roll, and then he's just flipping around. He's going to be in ion range, and he's going to be in X wing range. So barrel roll, he is in range of the X wing and the Y wing, but not in arc. No, so he's going to be ionized. So the iron cannon is going to be able to hit. Mm. We know that for exactly. Like the X wing, however, has actual primary weapon shot. It may be able to take it down. And this is really late and has to pretty much get every single movement right so micro correctly yeah, this is and then has to be able to take pretty much take okay. the white way yeah a wrong move could spell yeah. death that's it yeah the problem here is he's also moving towards asteroids if he gets ionized towards an asteroid we've already seen the white would pretty much kill itself yeah <laughs> and then he's still alive by banking just around an asteroid he is so. taking a stress to boost away from the combat <laughs> Even further out of arc, which yes. now, I think choice. that may just have taken Wait, him out of range of is, both weapons. Both the ion cannon is, Rain, yeah. So I think the ion cannon uh, is. Oh no, no, no. Just, uh, yeah, out just out of range. range. It's out of range. Yes. Yeah, it's just. Oh. I, it's either just in or just no, out. No, I think out. from this angle, yeah, it's just out. out. So. That is fantastic. Yeah, is. That's fantastic piloting. From yeah. But now the problem is he's going to be stressed. He can't do that again next turn. He, he has to make sure. He also can't cater, so he's, he has to. I think he was in range. I think oh, the iron oh. cannon, no, it didn't matter. Uh, two hits, two evades. Two hits, two evades. Well, <laughs> that's good. Just in range, and he just misses it, so that's all good. Okay, that's... But, a, yeah. So that's... the the X-Wing is going to be able to move towards it, but it is stressed as well. And the problem is you've now got the Y-Wing and the E-Wing facing exactly in the opposite direction. Yeah, and which that, that... actually not something Leighton particularly wants. He wants no. to be able to hit that thing and just remove it from the game. Yeah, it helps when you pre-measure absolutely everything. It's very true, actually. Yeah, like, we, uh, should, we kind of should be enforcing that. But yeah, fly casual. Nah, it's it's the test stream when we actually stream a tournament. I'm pretty sure everyone will be yeah on the best lo lawyering everything. So, <laughs> but yeah, so the the X wing got to be careful not to bump into the Y wing. You should be able to avoid it, but you never know accidental bits. So, so yeah, like yeah, definitely here. This is a, a game that has slowly moved in into Joe's control but still his ships are damaged his ships are he has very a 1 point damaged. Y wing and a 2 point X wing remaining against so, a, an, an E wing with 3 hull points so they yeah. essentially together as a team they have the same hull yeah. points remaining he effectively had the kill on board and just missed with the iron cannon when it was just on the board edge. It, it was it last bit of roll the dice yeah the, the final the final point when you roll the dice and you're like no before a tournament sacrifice whatever you can to the dice gods yeah. sacrifice sacrifice a, a goat uh, now, so the Y wing. What's it going to do? Looks here? Like doing the Y wing moving first. Interesting. This moving first. It looks like it's definitely turning. Now he's snookering the the uh, X wing. Yeah, turn in uh, two combat. turn. Okay, so, so he's no... he's now out of range of the ion cannon. Because yeah. if it was just in range last turn, it can't be in range this time. Indeed. That E wing is very tricky. Like it. So the wing X wing really moving. Hurt. Uh, so yeah, just moving into range. Definitely in range now. Leighton not going to be able to get out of arc without literally I, hitting the board edge. I think this, at this stage, um, Joe's just trying to box the E-Wing into a corner. Yeah. It's, trying to get it in a, in a position where yeah. the E-Wing can go nowhere. Now there's a target lock. Uh, that's uh, just a, a bank two. It's just yeah. slowly trying and to get out of that's, there. A, that's brilliant because the target lock remains. So he can... The best, the best odds ever are when you're rolling with a target lock and a focus on your side because... The odds of getting one hit, I believe, are 99 Just in range at three. Yo -ho -ho. Oh, there's, there's a oh, jump. Oh, barrel roll. Blue and orange markers. I bought them at a shop called Hobbycraft. <laughs> 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 um, like, they're, they're these sheets of stickers. Uh, they were like 50p for 350. Interesting. Yeah, it's better. For 700. The pre-measure pre would mend that he knows. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's now out. Yeah. Uh, there we go. He's now out. Yeah. Just out of range. So... Boosting incredibly far this turn. Yeah. 
The Y Wing are effectively out of, not really in the game right now. Is is like yeah. The Y Wing has spent an awful lot of this game not really doing anything. No. It moved in and then ran over two asteroids and then jumped away. <laughs> like literally, the the E Wing found out where the Y Wing was earlier and went to go and find it and discovered it was already on the other side of the board. So yeah. And the E Wing just quickly skirting the border, trying to get away, trying to put some distance between it and the two other ships it's, on the other side. That stress, that E Wing just can't crawl it around. It can't get into a good firing no. mode. Which okay. At this place, we're playing a chase game where it'd be great if we're in a position where there's time for tournaments, but in a, this kind of friendly game, there is kind of no time limit, so that ship must go down eventually. <laughs> yeah, they can be. They're, they're not hard to get off. Just You just, like, with a fingernail or something, you can get them off, so... They, they do not stay there. I've been assured it's one of those Xenite Pies of mine. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the one on yours. No, I stepped on them really hard. Oh, <laughs> it's like, no. I hate you. I hate you. Right, the X-Wing, <laughs> the X-Wing here predicting that the yeah. E-Wing is not going to move so very far. Oh, yeah. That's all right. That's a jump. Yes. See, that's the point. And that's why I did it. That is my camera messing up, or the camera messing up slightly. Not too bad, though. If it goes down, you will hear me disappear. And probably shout through explanatives as well. No, 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 no. That happens when I'm out of range of the mic. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you're really measuring now. The, I think looking at it, the S-wing is actually not in arc. No, it's not in arc. It's not. It's definitely not going to be able to hit it. So, and definitely making sure it's not. <laughs> a hop to the side. Now, well, where where the camera ends, by the way, is not actually the edge of the board. There's about an inch. There's like a, an inch or two on the edge, like an inch on the bottom. Yeah. So in theory, people aren't going to be on there too often, and you will always still be able to see part of the ship. So. Now, is there something, because with every single barrel roll and every move, Leighton is getting that Y-Wing as far away as he can. Yeah. And he's already turning into a position where, again, they're parallel in opposite directions. Yeah, now the X-Wing is has to give chase, and if he can do it right, he may be able to predict to turn into the X-Wing and take those shots from a close range, and he will shoot first. At this point, Joe is predicting where he's going. He may over-predict. Um, like, he may bank to the left here when... the yeah. Wing Banking wing. to the left would be easily the worst decision Joe could make. Yeah, now the I Y wing, agree. okay, what I think is going to happen here, the Y wing movement there kind of gives it away. Yeah. The X wing is going to turn into the right to definitely give it the range. If Leighton has seen this happen, what's going to happen? Yeah. What the <laughs> hell? Man? The, the, the jokes about what has happened because the, the Y wing started in the top right yeah, and moved over, over to the, the bottom left and then has gone back around. So it's gone on this giant adventure. <laughs> I think, yeah. So That's here's one lucky E wing. Yeah, the, uh, the, the Y wing has moved to support the X wing. And if the if Layton has predicted this, he'll be able to turn to the left and take a shot. Oh, yes. Straight now onto this, the X wing first. Layton will be able to get out of arc. The X wing is too close. <laughs> That's why we do commentary. Also. That's why we do commentary. No. Oh, three forward. Well, no, he can he can drop a, a he three can push it. Turn. Oh wow! Oh, now that, this could be oh. a sweep to the right, straight into the X wing. Yeah. Because now he's facing the right way. He's focused, so he took advances to focus. He didn't barrel, didn't boost. No. So he he is, I think, here setting up for a, a hopefully a hopeful survival. Considering he's he's got a lot of uh, a lot of um, he hasn't actually taken damage yet. No. So he has he has the survivability well, here. No, he's taking two damage. He's got he's down to three hull. So or three hit points actually because two shields have gone down. Oh yeah, two shields so. are down. Sorry. But here's what he, he should survive this from an X wing because the Y wing's definitely yeah. not in range. Here. Not in within range. If um, he survives this, the y, the X wing will have to move probably one forward, two hits, Ooh. and the reroll, re three, three hit. hits, spend the target lock, and that two evades. Two evades. That's another hit on the, the yeah. U wing. That's down to two hits, one direct hit. Yeah, that's all it will that's take. That's all it needs. But so if Lane has done this right. If the X-Wing only moves one forwards, it's a really weird time to 3k. A very weird time. <laughs> very weird time. Yeah, I know. I did not expect that one. No. Bit. But that's exactly but, why we love I love this game. Yeah, so <laughs> I think what Lane, Lane may be planning here. So if the X-Wing only moves towards one just to get that one closer, because he was shooting at two there, but he was just outside of the one. Yeah. Later may be able to turn to the right, line himself up to take out the X-Wing, and then the, swoop into the, the Y-Wing the straight away. Indeed. That's the best tactic to do at this point. And... Because lightning is so close, with the actions, if he can get rid of that stress, he will guarantee. He can pretty much guarantee he can be out of the X wing's firing arc next turn, and yeah. potentially inside its own arc. So, well, I mean, if you if you look at it, the X wing only has two hull points remaining. Yeah. It is going to take some damage. 
Yeah, he could do that, but I think he's actually yeah. going to try and predict the X-Wing moving just forwards, and then the E-Wing swooping into it, taking the shot first with pilot skill 5, and then jumping the Y-Wing the next turn. Because even if he gets... Um, even if he gets ionized, he's going to be in range of the Y-Wing. It is worth mentioning that at 4K at this point would probably result in the X-Wing bumping the thing. Yeah, it would Unless definitely. Unless the angle is that is wrong. Uh, no, it it's, it's definitely right. It's, we're, we're viewing it from a central down position. Which, so if he bumps on a K-turn, you do not turn around at the end, and that can be deadly. Yeah, and especially because he'll be on a board edge. And you're still stressed. Yeah, <laughs> he's not really going too far from there. So I, I would avoid even thinking about a case out of this point. Yeah, I think, I think what's going to happen here, this is going to be a minor move from the X-Wing, maybe a bank to the left, maybe a bank, one bank. or a, a turn to the left, just to try and well, get out of the E-Wing. You can't do a one turn, but it can do a two turn. Yeah. So Now, if, if the X-Wing tries to get out of the way... Mm. Yeah, so they're trying to keep the Y-Wing alive with, an, with the Ion Cannon in order to enable it to still get the shots in. Uh, yeah, so there's the, the one forward move, so this could be... A turn from the E-Wing into... It's also in arc now. The E-Wing yeah. just has it in arc without a movement. Arc. So if it has a turn or anything like that, it's going to be able to take a shot. A target lock from the X-Wing. Probably predicting that it won't have a shot this turn. And oh, uh, oh, there goes the bank. This could be out boost out of the arc here. Because it's still in arc. It's still in arc. If it can get out with just advanced... Barely. Well, with the advanced, it may be able to. Right? Um, it, 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 well, it's, it's really moose. It can't do the advanced sensors now. Okay. Um, but it could still push the limit to do two actions to boost. Yeah. And then yeah, it's there doing it is. There, out the of arc. Out of arc. And it's into the range of the Y wing. Perfect. <laughs> and I don't know if it's going to be in range two for the Iron Cannon. Uh, I would say that if it's in range two, it's just barely. Yeah, so I think it's probably going to be in range. Yeah, range yes. three. Range so the no, yeah. look at closest point, closest point. It looked like that it is at range three. We're me. viewing from a bad angle. That's true. Remember those. That's true. That's <laughs> Once true. I get my clothes rack in, I'll be able to do this properly. Yo, what is the weirdest sentence ever said on the stream about X Wing? <laughs> two like Two focus. That's oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Mm, Absolutely okay. nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing of worth. Uh, that's a hit, hit, and a hit. So three hits from the Y wing, and here we've got ionization. Uh, that's an ionized one. Wow. Oh, but wow. he's go probably going to still be able to be in range of the Y wing um, because yeah, the, I, I, I agree. Unless the Y wing decides to jump really far ahead, in which case it will again hit an asteroid. asteroid. <laughs> and with one hull remaining, that's not a That is not somewhere you want to be. So I think a two move clips the asteroid, and one will leave it in range of E wing. Best place. So it's going to have to move to the yeah. left. It's going to have to go between those two central asteroids, mm. and then you've got absolutely nothing Anything left. you can do. And then the Y-Wing is basically out of the fight and you get to try and take out that edge. You've got, you've got the, one of them. So the E-Wing's got a target lock on, as you know, the, um, the X-Wing has, X has a target lock on the E-Wing. Yeah. Um, they, need to, they need to move those. Um, you've got to remember that that will always be there. So he can K-turn and not worry about losing that. Yeah. Now he won't get a focus, so there's the less chance. But that E-Wing, it needs one hit. That's all it will take to destroy the E-Wing now. Yeah. One hit. It's very low remaining, so... And so now, slowly... we have Joe with the advantage at this point. He's got... His, hey, why are we, he's nearly dead, but even an ionization, a proper, another ionization, will do the one hit necessary to kill that E-Wing. Yeah. And if a Y-Wing kills a ton of Bart, I'm eating my hat. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it happens. It happens. Uh, it's, it was been really unfortunate that two Z-95s got taken out I did, so far. I saw a Hawk uh, um, ionize a... Defender off the board the other day, wow, which okay. that that I've gone through two hats and that, in that's, the last month. That's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely uh, an achievement unlocked there. That is, I said that pretty much. It's it's like, achieve. Like, so yeah, go. now that's the X Wing's movement. What's going to happen here? The X Wing is just going to turn back around on itself it and take and, and take a shot on the E Wing, hoping to hit, get that hit straight out. A, a a two turn to the right won't get him an arc, but a Corrigan will, but he'd be further away. Yeah. Um, so that is, it's to consider: Do you want to risk the stress, or do you want to take take the chance that you may be in arc? Which I'd be think would be a mistake, personally. Yeah. I would just Corrigan at this point because you don't have to worry about another ship trying to get you from behind, um, and you know you know where that E wing is going to wind up. In fact, if it does does it, it, it could actually still be an arc if he does two turn on the on the on the E wing. Because they, the E-Wing's going forward one. We know that much. Yeah, yeah. It probably would be able to barrel out of the arc, though. So. I think it may be able to, but at this point, it's going to be a, a much more risky maneuver if it can't. 
Indeed. If he if he sees he can't, he's not going to do it. There's no, no reason to no try and prolong it. No. Unless it puts it at a further range. Yeah. To give him that extra dice. So, like, I don't know. At this point... Would it, do that? Would it, get, would it get close to the Y-Wing? Uh, the Y-Wing pretty much can't turn right because the E-Wing will shoot first. So then it's all on the X-Wing. That's true. And if the X-Wing fails, the E-Wing will be able to get out of there. Yeah. If you take out the Ion Cannon, you're no longer in danger of having your movement restricted. So suddenly the E-Wing right. frees up its movement. It's able to get out of there, able to turn back on the X-Wing at a future point. And here we go. The Y-Wing is moving. Yeah, it's one moving between the, the asteroids, Smart which move. is what we thought he would do. So basically the E-Wing will be able to shoot it, but it will be a longer range. Indeed. And the X-Wing will then take its shots. So this could be just a, a blood or glory take out. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Wow. So this is everything out of the way of the E-Wing. Everything out of the way, no shot. Although the Y wing will still be in range, it's still going to be an arc. And you know that thing's going forward, so I guess you're not too worried about it ending up where you don't want it to be. So no, you, so you know where it's going to go. It's yeah. it's in range of the Y wing, Actually, and that's I, range I two. I believe that could just be. I mean, it could it'll probably barrel roll, but you got the risk. Actually, it's not in range. It's it's not in arc. It's just out, unfortunately. I have to get like a white border, <laughs> white board for this street, so I can start drawing on it. And it seems that. I believe we may go back to dials unless Layton. Yeah, Layton's yeah, consider Layton's, Layton is considering. Layton's looking at it. He's considering, and he's pre-measured. Yeah, he's yeah. just out. He's just out. So he may choose to roll it and then take the shot. Oh, oh, yeah, there it is. So I'll push it. <laughs> there we go. I I always forget about the engine upgrade, and it, yeah, that's that's why you put it on anyway. Yeah. Cost so now points, he's totally in, worth it. He's in range of the ion cam, but. One, one hit point. point remaining, and he's in range but one at this point. You've got to consider will those three shields and the Y wing yeah. do anything? Well, he's at range one, so he, he, this is the time four, to do four, it. Four, four dice, so there's the potential to destroy that Y wing. But if that, oh, that's, that uh, there we go. <laughs> four hits. We've got to get one of eight here. And then, no, well, he's going to upgrade one to, to a, crit. a crit, which will turn it to a yeah. So. Yeah, so it, it's basically dead. One of eight. One of eight. If it's not a direct hit, it still survives. Yeah. Well, no, the one was on one point. Oh, no, because it takes away all three shields, because all three hits take the shield. Yeah. So it's still, it's still alive. It's on. Just barely. Oh, oh our camera's oh, gone. I will be right back. And this is why we test these things every little what, ladies and gentlemen. Show me where you are. At the moment, when you don't want to, and the camera's back on, and we have a damage. And it's been confirmed that that Y wing. Sorry? It's, it's working. And it's been confirmed. Blinded pilot next time. Okay. He is, he is however, dead regardless. He is dead regardless. He has four points of damage. <laughs> he is dead. So now. Let's go sketch you with those arc checks. Wow. Yep. <laughs> it is down to. The, the rookie pilot. It's pilots down to a. And the E Wing. What is it? One hull remaining? One hull remaining the... versus two hull remaining. Right. So I'm going to move and these the down. The E Wing will attack first, and yes. that's key. Now, and also the Iron Cannon is gone. It's gone. So there's no control left. E Wing is stressed, but by the time. The but by the time, yeah, the X Wing yeah, is not going to be able to get in range. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's not the. the uh, I'm going to put these up here. That's a much better place to look. Uh, yeah, so the. The E Wing won't care if it's stressed. It's going to be able to get rid of that and jump around through the asteroids for a bit. Uh, they were so excited. They're like, <laughs> Did they see it? I'm like, uh, yeah, the camera stopped working. Uh, um, e Wing Bro is so sketchy with those arc checks. Yeah, I do I agree. He, the pre measuring is a bit sketchy. Uh, fly casual. As a, this yeah. is only just a test, and it's yeah. late. Uh, yeah, it's fair enough. <laughs> I may explain why he's the store champion, just saying. Uh, <laughs> Well, he pulled off some risky maneuvers and they worked out. Oh, he's, oh. He, I find him next. He's an excellent pilot. Thinking, yeah. So is Joe. Right, so that's just a, a full bank. That's a Corrigan. So yeah. it's it's got its, it's got effective, but it's not losing an action. But then again, it's out of range. No worries, man. We'll be, if you give us a follow, you'll find out exactly when we go live with the next X-Wing stream. Mm. Um, it's so, pretty popular enough, you know. Yeah, well, well we're going to be streaming at least once. Yes, at least once. And we'll see how that works out. <laughs> But yes, yeah, so thank you, thank you very much for tuning in, Osterling. Osterling. Oh wow, thank you all very much. Just quickly, Intro Verdon, Audio Weasel, and Vorginger Thirty Five for following this. Thank you very much for following the stream, guys. Yeah, and it's always lovely when that happens. It surprises me. <laughs> like, why would you follow us? We, we talk rubbish. All we're, we're a small <laughs> store in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it's always good. But yeah, so that I was about to say, wow, that's been trapped between three asteroids. It's a target yeah. lock, though. 
But yeah, so the E-Wing in a fairly decent place is going to be able to position itself on the X-Wing fairly mm. efficiently. I I don't want to put money down on this match at this point. No, I'm not going to put oh. money down on it, but it's going to be able to get into it, position yeah. fairly fast when it needs to. I think that E-Wing is far too maneuverable to lock it down into a hard. It yeah. will be able to get out of that rookie pilot's arm now that, and fire on it. that X-Wing, just a quick turn there, Yeah. lining up the X-Wing. Just in getting its, it ready. Yeah. So, what's going to happen? Oh, wow. Oh, oh. This is aggressive. They are very aggressive. We're just going to turn back. We are going dead through right into a game. Yeah. So, we, we're nearing the end, and everyone's like, man, thanks for the stream. It's like, we aren't done yet. <laughs> we aren't done yet. This game could be taking forever at this point. Yes. So they're in range. They're in range. The and X-Wing is the in range of the E-Wing. Shot. E-Wing does not... I, I don't... Can't tell oh, it's, now it's got oh, a shot. Oh, now it's got a but shot. But it's barreling through to yeah, the asteroid. Each of them oh. has barreled through the asteroid. But it's going to be... It's possibly it's range two. Possibly. It's probably going to be range three. He's adding a dice either way to both yeah. ships' attack, to defense. So that's something. Yeah, but the the X wing has one extra hull. There we go. Barrel rolling from barrel rolling from behind an asteroid. I think an attempt to get out of the X wing's firing arc. I don't know. Oh, it might. It might just. Get no, out. it's no, not. No, no, it's not. No. It's not out. And now you've lost the defense dice. Yes. Well, but it's, it's, I think it's actually just it's, increased it's the better. range. It's better. Yeah. I think it's put it into range three, not range two. Yeah. I mean, so, either way, it's the same amount of die being rolled. Either way. Oh, wow. That's an extravagant roll. That's a very extravagant roll. That's one hit. I believe. Yeah, two nothing. And that's nothing on the. Actually, no, that's one evade. So the rookie nothing pilot happens. evades. This rookie hit. pilot has been very lucky. Very beginner's, <laughs> beginner's luck. Beginner's <laughs> luck. So I think he may be getting a promotion for his. Oh, it's range two. Range, range two. Oh, here we go. Here oh, we wow. Go. This could be it. This could be it for Ewing. Three. Three two hit. hits in the focus. Two hit. Oh. It needs two evades. Oh, re roll on the target lock. Three hits. So this needs to be it three. Needs to be three. Evade. Three direct ones. Come Win on. this one. Come on. See what we can get. Uh, oh, one miss. <laughs> one one that's blank. That's all it takes. And that set game and match, game. I believe. Game to red team. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, I, get that one. I right, didn't yeah. expect that. So, yeah. <laughs> that was our test room, guys. It was a very brief test. Oh. And now I need to go finish an overlay when I get home. And then wake up tomorrow <laughs> afternoon. That was just incredible. Uh, Thank you very much, Ocelot. Uh, <laughs> it's always good. <laughs> but yeah, so what's going to happen? We are going to live stream an X Wing tournament at some point when we get the finalised date for it. We're still saying that up in yeah. the store. So, but yeah, we will probably stream some more X Wing at some point. Tonight was just a test stream. Mm. So thank you all very much who tuned in and gave us a follow. Uh, four followers in an hour is <laughs> nearly a record. Uh, but yeah, thank you all very much. We'll be back with yeah. some X Wing at some point, Indeed. and maybe we'll have an overlay by then. And we'll have some other stuff happening with X-Wing. I'm sure there'll be a video or two done by me or someone or somebody in the store. But yeah, thank you all very much for tuning in. Uh, I have been George. And I've been Elliot. So thank you all.